Hi, welcome to my channel. I am going to be moving in less than a month, so I've been tackling different areas of my apartment, decluttering, and making sure that I'm only keeping and moving with me things that I actually want and use, and I'm getting rid of the rest. So today we are in our hallway closet, and I'm gonna be going through here and cleaning out things that I can part ways with and helping to make this move as smooth as possible for me. One thing to note, some things in here are mine and some things in here are my housemates. So I'm just going to be tackling my stuff and cleaning out my stuff and her stuff she can clean out when she gets around to it. I'm leaning towards getting rid of most of the stuff because I don't use this ever. This is a hotel signature scent spray. I think you spray it on your, you spray it on your fresh linens or to scent the air. Let me spray it now. It smells okay, but no, I don't like this. <laughs> Definitely gonna get rid of this. I don't like the smell and I, I never used this. I think I had this for like two years now, never used. So we're gonna get rid of that. Um, the things I get rid of, I'm just gonna be putting on, um, hmm, where should I put this? I'll put it on here for now. This is the same type of situation. It's a room and linen spray. I don't use room and linen sprays, so again, I'm gonna get rid of this. This is castor oil. I heard it's good for helping your hair grow, and that's why I've had it, but I actually never use this either, so I'm gonna get rid of this. Now we are getting to the hair products. This is a curl moisturizing hair mist and I have had this for a while but when I got it the spray nozzle was broken. It's not a fine mist when you spray it and that's why I never use it because it's like the mister is broken. So I'm going to end up getting rid of this actually. This is a Sally Hansen moisturizing mask. I actually really like using this, so I'm going to keep this. This is a Brigio Curl Charisma Leave-In Defining Cream. I think I can never have too many of these, so I'm actually going to keep this as well. This is another Curl Defining Cream, but it's in a travel sized version. I'm going to keep this because you can never have too many travel sized hair products. This right here is a volumizing foam by Inner Essence. It's supposed to create beautiful hair from roots to ends. It's, for, it's a styling foam to volume, give you volume, shape, and sculpt. I have curly hair that naturally has volume, so I don't think I need a volumizing foam. When I got this, I thought I was grabbing a different product, but I actually grabbed the wrong product and purchased this. And then I went home and I tried it and then I, I read it more carefully and I realized I got the wrong product. So that's why it's never been used and it's not a product that I actually need for my particular hair concerns. So I'm going to get rid of this. And then this is like a hair defining mousse. It's not my favorite hair defining mousse. But I'm going to keep it for now to see if I actually can work with it or not because I actually don't remember. It's been a while since I used it, so I don't remember if it's something that is doable or if it's something that my hair just hates. So I'm going to keep it and use it this week and see how I feel about it. So I might actually just give these ones away. We are in my TV stand now. I have a lot of my candles stored in here. Um, and I don't really use candles. These are by the Hotel Collection. They smell very fresh, like very fresh, very clean, literally like a hotel. But my favorite candles are from Diptyque. And as you can see, I've never lit this one. I just, I don't use these candles. These do smell good. I don't know, man. I might just light them and see how I feel about the scents over the next week or so and decide if I want to declutter or not. But I'm leaning towards decluttering because I never use these candles. I always use my Diptyque candles. So because of that, I, I'm wanting to declutter and I don't need things in my life that I don't use. This 
This drawer is kind of like a hodgepodge of a million different things. I keep a lot of my overflow of supply. Like if I have more than one of my favorite face cleanser, I'll keep the extras in here. So that's why it is overflowing. But I know there's probably some things in here that I am okay with getting rid of. So let's go through everything in here now. This is my favorite sunblock. It's by Super Goop and it's SPF 50, so definitely gonna keep this. Intense Hydration Leave-In Milk by Shea Moisture. I actually never use this, so I'm gonna end up getting, I'm gonna declutter this one. This is Moroccan Argan Oil. Is there any left? Yeah, there's a little bit in here. Okay, so if my, if my hair gets dry, I'll use this, so I'm gonna end up I'm going to keep this. This is a hair regrowth treatment that I've used quite a bit of, but I don't really use that much anymore. So I'm going to put this in the maybe pile. This is by Bumble and Bumble. This is a hair primer. I... I use this when my hair is feeling dry, but... I don't really use this that that often. So I'm gonna put this in the maybe pile as well. This is my favorite face cleanser. I have it in the travel size and in a full bottle. Definitely not getting rid of this. Keeping this in the keep pile. I actually don't think I've ever used this. I'm going to try this today and see how I feel about it, but this is a hairspray by Bounce Curl, and I honestly, yeah, I've never, I've never used this. Medium to strong hold hairspray to create hold, texture, and volume. I'm going to try this and see how I feel. I'm undecided, so I'm going to put this in need to try pile. This is for hydrating my scalp. If I feel like I'm getting flaky scalp, I'll put this on my scalp. So this is definitely a keep. And these two are my backup nail polishes, which I am definitely going to keep because they're unopened. Okay, so we only really ended up getting rid of one thing, which I'm kind of disappointed because I never use anything in this drawer. Uh, I think I could have done better than that. This gel is not my favorite, but I kind of want to use it and see how I feel about it. So we're just decluttering one thing for now. The ones that are definite keep, I'm going to put back in my drawer. A definite keep, definite keep, definite keep. This is where I put all my extras and travel sizes, and I clean this out pretty regularly, so I'm not expecting to get rid of a ton of stuff, but it's good to just see what I've been using and just do a little refresher. So, but I, I do want to look through this just in case there are some things I can get rid of, for instance, like sunblock. And I realized actually last year that sunblock expires and I started going through my sunblock more regularly to toss things that expire. Um, so let's do that today. This sunblock expires June this year. That's this month. Um, it's not my favorite sunblock because it comes on. It comes on. It goes on kind of white. You can see how much I use it. It has a white tint when it goes on. And it kind of smells weird. So I'm leaning towards decluttering this one. It kind of smells like bug spray. Yeah, I'm going to declutter this one. I don't really like it. This is native deodorant. You know, I've tried so many deodorants over the year that are natural. 
none of them ever work for me. This one I started using in the fall and winter and it worked okay. And then spring came along and my armpits smelled so bad. So I'm just going back to chemical deodorants because this does not work on me. I don't know. <laughs> Natural deodorants just don't work on me. I've tried every single brand under the sun. None of them work on me. And this was like my last ditch effort on giving natural deodorants one more shot and it, it was a fail. So I'm going to get rid of this and I'm just not going to try anymore with natural deodorant. I don't want to know how much money I've wasted trying out different natural deodorant brands, but it's just, it doesn't work on me. I guess I'm just a stinky girl and I need the extra strength stuff. <laughs> so let's declutter that. This is another sunblock. I started surfing April last year and that's where I got all the sunblock from from my time surfing. Fire. This expires June 2023 as well. I've literally never used this and expires this month. Why am I such a sunblock hoarder? Yeah, you know, let's put on this hand. I feel like it's expired already because there's like the texture is kind of bumpy. I think this is expired. Uh, okay. Yeah, it's like a bumpy texture, so I feel like this is expired. I'm just gonna get rid of this. And never repurchase, because it smells weird. I don't like the smell of it, so I don't think I wanna ever repurchase this, but yeah, unfortunately I've never used it and it's already expired. So we are getting rid of that. Now we have a bunch of face washes, which we are keeping, lotions. This is a moon mask by Glossier. Uh, I think I'm going to keep this, actually. This is almost out, so I'm going to be sure to use this up before I move, hopefully. I'll try my hardest. This is lotion I got from a hotel. Uh, this is the... Deodorant I like to use. I actually like to use the secret deodorant that has no scent. Um, but this is a travel size one, so I'll, I use it when I travel. This is just an empty plastic, so I'll throw this out. And... This I never use. I don't even think this is for curly hair. Um, so I'm just gonna get rid of it. I don't think this is for my hair type at all. So, and that's why I never use it. So I'm gonna get rid of this. This I've had forever and I'm kind of wondering if it's expired. How do you know if these things are expired? 12 month shelf life. I've definitely had this over 12 months. So I'm gonna get rid of this. This is a lotion, and I use it sometimes. I think I'm going to put this out so I remember to use this up. I'm going to try to use this up before the end of the month. This is like a solid lotion that when it when you rub it on your skin, it starts to warm up and melt on you. I like it. I wouldn't purchase again. I think the seller is out of business now, so I even if I wanted to, I couldn't purchase again. But it was, it was okay. This moisturizer is the best face moisturizer I've ever used. Did not break me out, like felt so moisturizing and it was not heavy so I could use this both in the nighttime and in the morning. I'm currently on the hunt for a replacement of this because this was so good. Anyway, gotta use this up and then once I use this up I gotta find a new moisturizer for myself. But love, love, love this. Oh my gosh, this is my first aid kit that I was looking for. This is the Sun Bum Face Moisturizer, and it actually expired in April. So we are getting rid of this. This expires in this month, so I'm gonna use. I'm gonna try to use this up this month. It's a sunscreen moisturizer. This is the Sun Bum Three in One Conditioner. I use this sometimes when I travel, so I'm gonna keep this. This is the 
cool down aloe lotion. I don't really use this, but it's nice to have, so I'm going to keep it around. And then this is the Sun Balm Face Mask, Restoring Face Mask. I don't think it's expired, so I'm going to keep this. And then this is the Raw Elements Face Stick. I'm pretty sure I got this the same time as I got my other Raw Elements. So I'm leaning towards that this is probably expired. Oh no! This is not expired. It expires January 1st, January 2024. So this actually is still good. I'm going to keep this around. Cool. These are just hand wipes I like to travel with to wipe down to wipe down my area when I'm in the plane. The rest of these are okay. This is a daily cleanser I like to use. I'm not really too picky about my cleansers. I have one that I love, but I'm okay switching out my cleansers every once in a while. Um... I'm happy with where we're at. This one I just got. I just got this in last month. Yeah, expires in 2025. So I'm going to definitely keep this around. As you can tell, I take my sunblock sun protection very, very seriously. I have so many sunblocks. But it's because I used to surf. And when you are out on the water, you definitely want to protect your skin. So from that then, we are getting rid of all of these, which is... Not bad, not bad at all. I, f I do feel bad about this. I'm gonna see if somebody I know wants this because it's brand new, never been used. It smells really good, but does not work on me. So I'm, I'm done with my paraben-free, aluminum-free, all natural deodorants. I'm just done spending money on that. I will go back to the chemicals happily as long as it helps me not smell like I live in garbage. So. This is everything I pulled out, decided to get rid of. I think we did a pretty good job. This looks like quite a good declutter. Products that are either old or I just don't use or I don't wanna take with me to my new place or all of the above. Um, yeah, so I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next video. Bye.